on a little bit of a bumpy road and Penny does not like to be in the car on bumpy roads. So I can leave her at home and we can go explore. Although I'd much prefer to be in a snowy mountain town, I'm learning to really appreciate how much easier it is to be in the desert and enjoy how much happier my dogs are. Hi, um, I am quite certain that this video is going to start out with some footage of the beautiful area around me and maybe me like making my coffee and sitting down working on my new huge desk, um, but full disclaimer, this is the first time I picked up my camera. This is the first time I have looked around my camper and thought, hmm, where's my angle going to be? I haven't hit record, I haven't put the battery in the camera, I've done nothing, and I've been on the road again for almost a month. Um, I have been learning the ins and outs of my new rig, and honestly I've just kind of been being a normal person who lives on the road. Getting back into YouTube has felt like a struggle, not gonna lie, but we're here, we're filming, I did just finish a full day of work, and it's time to go take the dogs for a WALK and take you with me and show you all the beautiful things around me. So let's go. This is my second winter in the desert and it's not my favorite place. I love the mountains. I love seeing snow capped peaks in the distance. I love paddle boarding in crystal clear alpine lakes and I love an occasional form of precipitation coming down. But we will be in the desert until further notice and I'm actually not that sad about it. It didn't take me long to remember how hard this past summer was. Not the heat or the breakdowns, but the lack of open spaces to walk my dogs without the fear of another dog, usually off leash, around the corner. If you're new here, hi, my name is Erica and I have one dog who is an angel sent straight from heaven and another with leash reactivity. They are my world. I would do anything for them, and I often put their well-being above my own. I won't back away from advocating for them in front of irresponsible owners, and I will always bend over backwards to make sure their needs are met. Penny has gone through pretty extensive training, but there's nothing I can do to control people who don't pay attention to their own dogs and where they go. In the desert, I don't have obstructions to try to look around. I can easily see if an off-leash dog is ahead, and I can avoid them which gives my dogs the chance to live their best lives and me the chance to relax. So although I'd much prefer to be in a snowy mountain town, I'm learning to really appreciate how much easier it is to be in the desert and enjoy how much happier my dogs are. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know and with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all You know my love Don't worry about the cold just yet The trees haven't started to shed just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying When I say
Ooh, blurry. That's a little better. We just got done with our walk. We walked just shy of three miles. So um, to the people who like to say living in a van or a camper is terrible for your dogs, I'd like to ask how far you walked your dogs today. Um, anyways, welcome to my truck that I absolutely love. Um, it is a 2016 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. I didn't mean to get a fancy one. It just kind of happened that way. And now I'm like obsessed with it. And I feel like any vehicle I own after this, I'm going to have to have the fancy version. Um, genuinely, this was just the best deal I could find in a short period of time. I'll have to talk about that at some other point because it was so stressful. But Charlie and I are going to go scout spots. Um, we didn't park in a bad spot, but we parked randomly where I guess you could say there's a tourist attraction. There's a stupid little circle of rocks that humans have put into shape and now people visit it as a labyrinth it's not bad but the dogs get very distracted when cars pull up during the day so uh another perk to having my home separate from my vehicle is that we're on a little bit of a bumpy road and penny does not like to be in the car on bumpy roads so i can leave her at home and we can go explore Charlie loves car rides. Ride is literally and figuratively a four-letter word to him. Just hearing the word gets him excited. But living in the van wasn't the same for him because he didn't have a window to stick his head out of. Aside from being able to go through drive throughs again, I was mostly excited for Charlie to catch a highway breeze and see his ears flopping in my side mirrors again. So that's exactly how we spent the afternoon looking for new spots and enjoying all the perks of a, I guess you could say, normal vehicle. And come on, how freaking cute is he? Leave a comment and I'll read them all to him, reminding him he's the best boy in the whole wide world, and I swear I won't tell Penny you said so. But anyway, it's nice being able to leave my home and just drive around, look for spots that we can safely get the trailer to, and hopefully just avoid crowded areas and relax for a while. And even though I can't get to the farthest spots with the best views, I am still really, really, really happy I decided to go the travel trailer route. Come on. Hello. Hi. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> kind of a lazy start to the day. Um, well, they have. <laughs> They've just been laying around sleeping, but I've been cleaning and getting the desert grime out of the camper. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday. It's the sunniest day we've had in a while, so I'm going to take the dogs for a WALK, and then I am going to go for a hike up into a small canyon where there's like a random cluster of palm trees so we'll see how exciting it is or not between quartzite and yuma arizona you'll find the kofa national refuge this area is a hot spot for snowbirds and luckily i was camping about one mile from an entrance Far off in the distance, like really, really, really far, you'll see a road, and that's where I was heading. At the end of the road was a short hike, leading to a random patch of palm trees growing in the mountains, a reminder of times when the area received more rainfall. As I got closer and closer and closer to the trailhead, it became clear that I wasn't going to be alone on this hike. But for the first time in almost two years of living on the road, I wasn't bothered by that because I now have the ability to leave my dogs at home, not in the parking lot, 
stress-free, without the fear of someone thinking they're in a hot box vehicle instead of an insulated van. They are comfortable, probably sprawled out across the couch, and one is most likely snoring so loud that the other can't sleep. For the first time in almost two years, I finally feel a little bit more carefree. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers I finished the hike and made my way back to the camper just in time for the dogs to get a quick play session in and to enjoy my absolute favorite part of life on the road, the sunset. Appalachian sunrise Weeps my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden I'll follow only golden 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 things Spring 